Jerry G. Reporting from the Staples Center as the Los Angeles Clippers and the Los Angeles Lakers met for the second time within a few days. Tune the videos and interviews to follow. You know, they were playing hard. They were hitting shots. Um, they were hitting tough shots. Um, the biggest thing for us is just, you know, not just playing, just to stay, stay with it, stay with the game plan, stay on each other, um, trust each other, and ultimately get the win. And uh, we, we, we slipped a little bit there, but at the end of the day, we're going home with a win, and that's what we need right now. Like, uh, how's your shoulder feeling after going into the sideboards? Well, it's all right. It's just like a, it's just like a gash. It's not like a, not like a. Like they had cut the score to uh, just a one-point game, and you guys put the starters back in. And what, what was said during that timeout? And uh, you know, what do you think allowed you to kind of come out and just take care of business there? Uh, not to, not to, you know, let them stick around. You know, you let a team stick around like that. You never know what happens in the game, so we wanted to come out and then, um, impose our will on, on the game right then. And, you know, get stops, make baskets, and that's what we did. You know, CP was great down the stretch. We got stops down the stretch, guys. You know, really set down. Um, Blake, what, did, what was it like to have Jamal back and then being a guy who uh, had a, a, a lengthy absence like he did? Mm -hmm. What did you think of him coming back after the layoff? Uh, it's great to have him back, first of all. I mean, he, he puts pressure, even if he's not you know, taking that many shots, he puts pressure on a team, on teams. So just to have him back is great. But you know, you can tell he's, he's a, little, a little slower. He, he um, probably didn't feel at his best, but. Um, he was good for us, and, and that's going to come. That's going to come back so quickly, especially for a guy like him. He, did, he never forgets how to play. So, um, you know, just, we just want to keep him coming along and, and not push him too too much because um, we need him you know, in the playoffs more than anything. Blake, as you've established this jump shot over the course of the year, have defenses adjusted to it yet to where they're respecting you as a shooter? Um, and then, I guess, kind of secondly, is it is it changed? Changes things in the pick and roll. Hopefully, you know. Hopefully, opens up the, the floor a little bit for our, our team. You know, offensively keeping DK down low and then um, you know not just shooting but trying to make plays. You know, CP draws too. And then you know if we, we move quick, move the ball quickly enough. It was four and three. Um, you know, catch that ball at the, the free throw line. So um, I don't know. I'm just trying to still find that 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 right rhythm and that right. Uh, when you started to add the, the shot over the, I mean, this has been a process over a couple of years. Um, was ever longevity something in your mind that you thought to play in this league 15 years is something I'm going to have to do um, to just avoid the kind of pounding I take, or was it more just that's kind of icing and, and I want to become more well-rounded? Yeah, I mean, I just want to be, I want to be a better player. And that's pretty much what drives everything I do. Um, just to be a better player. I mean, yeah, I mean, it might help with longevity, but you know, you never know. Sometimes you can't control it. So um, my thing with, with that is like, I, thought, I feel like that's what I needed to work on, and that's what I really put a lot of time into, you know, along with some other things. So that's what it's about. Blake, you have three games left in the season. How is this team now compared to last season at this point? Uh, we're a much different team. Even though we have kind of the same core, you know, the same starting five and uh, a couple of guys off the bench, it's, yeah, we're a different team. Um, so I don't know if, I don't know how I can really compare those two. Uh, but I think right now, as far as this team goes, um, we, we've been about you know, business for the past, I don't know, however many games. Um, I just like our attitude and our resolve going into games. Um, it's always, you know, take care of business, respect everybody, but um, you, know, you got to come out and uh, after you guys played the Warriors at home recently, I know you voiced some frustration that at times it seemed as though the Warriors fans were louder than the Clippers fans. You know, I know tonight's a different situation, but was that a bit frustrating? Uh, I didn't say I didn't say that they were louder. I said it felt like we we weren't at home. Mm -hmm. um, our fans who are here are great, mm -hmm. but it's hard when you know uh, most arenas are twenty thousand strong for one team. Um, you know, it feels like our fans are having a battle, a lot of fans. I mean, 
other team. So it's not about our fans that come to the games. Um, but, you know, tonight, that's kind of how, it, how it's always been. Um, but in the playoffs, you know, we're going to need everybody. So um, I, I, I didn't say anything about our fans being bad <coughs> at all. Obviously, you guys are playing great, but what area would you like to see the team improve on and heading into the playoffs? Um, consistency on defense. I mean, we, we've been we've been better than we, we have been you know, early in the season, but you know, I think uh, we can we can still take it up another notch and, and really really you know sit down and really make it tough for teams to score. Uh, and that's what it comes down to in the playoffs. So it's, it's, very, it's much more of a half court game, and, and uh, we're going to need to to really trust each other and be able to be able to strength.